the Wheel and Liberty light bar. Been around for a number of years, great products, lots of it out there on the street. Hopefully not behind you when you don't want it behind you. But in the interim, we're going to see what Chris is working on right now. He's got some Liberty modules, and he's going to be doing some interesting things with them. I hope. Thank you, Stuart. I have here Whelan's world-famous SX series Liberty Light Bar. It's been around for many years, very rough and tumble, amazingly bright. But if you're noticing something here, we have takedowns, set of inboards, set of corners, but a set of blanks right here. And if you're thinking, hmm, usually I see light bars that are fully populated, no blanks. Well, that's because the Liberty Bar itself is modular. It can be simplistic, so less modules, or fully loaded, and more modules. So in this case here, I'm going to show you how you open this up, take a set of modules, plug them in to the blanks here, and then what'll activate them for loading up your light bar, or if you have it fully loaded and you wanna change colors, really it's the same process. Just difference is you already have something where your blanks are. So I'll give you a quick example here. Turn the bar on, let you see how it sits right now. So as you can see, nice and bright, reds and blues firing away. So to get inside, get the blanks out, I'm gonna take the end cap off over here. Take a drill, start by removing the four screws that affix the end cap here. So again, pull the end cap off. The lenses are in a track, which is on the bottom and the top aluminum extrusions. So with that, you can simply slide them out. The dividers here basically just tuck into place, so easy to remove. Slide that free. Divider comes out. And same thing with this one as well. The blanks snap out of place. And inside here, you'll notice a wire connection. So with that, the bar, like I mentioned, is modular. So again, adding accessories, changing accessories, simple to do with a plug and play wiring harness that's already inside. Have a set of modules here. They're available from us on SirenNet in the Liberty section. You can get them in different color combinations so you can suit any needs that you may have. Kit comes as a pair. Like I mentioned, colors you can pick. Have a red here and a blue. The great feature is the lead wire helps ID what color the module set is when you turn it on. So I'll put a blue here and it's a nice disconnect and quick connect harness. Plugs right in, or if you need to remove them, easily slides back out. Module itself has uh, three little steps, both on the top, both on the bottom. We'll tuck the wiring into the housing, and from there, snaps into place. Do the same thing with this side here. Take the wiring harness, Plug in the module, tuck the wiring into the housing, and snap it into place. From there, it's a simple process of taking the components that you previously removed. So we'll slide the lenses back into the tracking here, divider section. and the last short lens as well. And 
And in showing you this, you can see how easy the lenses can be removed. So for example, a tree falls, stormy night, big rock bounces up off the freeway. If a lens gets damaged, an end cap gets damaged, they're very easy to replace. End cap here, like I just mentioned, we'll tuck that back on. Now you may notice, I'll pull this back off, give you another view here. The lens is longer than the extrusion, and that's completely okay. The lensing and the gaskets are basically pressured together. So when I put the end cap on, all this tucks in, the foam gaskets inside the divide compress, which keeps all that funky grime and condensation out of your nice Liberty Light bar. Put back together, and as you can see, with the end cap screwed back on, the gaskets push in, everything is now nice and tight. Blanks here, we'll keep these. Maybe you want to change something later, or maybe you want to reconfigure it, take some reds and blues out, switch ambers, and put them back in for yourself. The modules, once you have them installed in your bar, will be activated by your light bar's wiring harness. You have a series of trigger wires, basically in a pigtail format. Refer to your install guide. It will tell you which colored wire will activate what function in the bar. So in this case here, we have an inboard set of modules. So we'd pull up the inboard set, find the color that's appropriate for the outboard inboards, Nice to say, good little rhyme, outboard inboards, but outboard position versus inboard position. And we're calling them inboards because they're inboard modules inside the light bar. So you'll take your trigger wire, like I mentioned, that activates the set, tie it to your controller, feed it 12 volts, and with that, you will then have an extra set of modules. Keeps you nice and safe, lights up your application, fills those blanks that were in the bar before. Simple process, Liberty Light Bar, SLD modules, in case you're curious what the part number is for them, different colors. Thanks for spending some time with me here, SirenNet Television, back over to you, Stuart. Well, again, <laughs> Chris, thank you very much. And again, I'm Stuart, and thanks for watching SirenNet Television.